you. One man is making it his mission to raise awareness about changes needed in the educational system, and he's doing it on two wheels. CBS 46's Yasmina Alston caught up with him when he stopped in Atlanta. He's biked a little over a thousand miles so far and ended up in front of Georgia State Capitol with a message. Currently biking to every state capital in the country to raise awareness on the educational system. On this bike, Adrian De La Vega is riding to every state capital and pushing for change in the classroom. What we're teaching the students and how we allow our teachers to teach it. Uh, a lot of teachers around the country have gone on strikes because of a lot of reasons, one of them being how they are treated, how much they are paid. Uh, but in the classroom, sometimes they don't have enough power uh, for them to teach how they want to teach. The educational speaker says the system isn't helping everyone reach their full potential. One prime example, he says, is what students learn after school, the basics of how to be an adult. That's late. That should have been taught 20 years ago. He has already taken this message to several states. Right now, he's meeting with Metro Atlanta teachers to hear their needs. So having someone in Washington or in the state capitol decide how they should teach is, there's no common sense. He chose biking to make a point. De La Vega tells me change takes time, but can happen, much like his journey on two wheels. I wanted to do something that caught attention. In Georgia, the Department of Education has a division of curriculum and instruction, which supports evidence-based instructional practices to establish the standards teachers follow in their classrooms. The department works with teachers and education experts, like De La Vega, to come up with those standards. I found that Georgia standards are reviewed on a regular basis and revised when needed. De La Vega hopes his message can be a part of that. And De La Vega plans to return to Metro Atlanta to speak at schools once they get back into session. Reporting from the Georgia State Capitol, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News.